All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Recha Kodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to your light. Here we have another case, all right, of, uh, you know, well, today, today being January 11th. All right, Friday. Okay, it says here, um, FBI protests missed Every FBI protests missed pay and air traffic controllers sue as shutdown breaks records. Okay. And so um, let's keep uh, reading on this, man. Because understanding that the more and more, like we keep saying, all right, the longer and longer the shutdown goes, the more and more things it affects. Okay. It affects a whole lot of things, man. And a lot of these federal workers, a lot of the, the jobs they do, affect your your everyday life okay and it's going to get to the point where the squeeze is going to be put on the people where you, it's not going to be just oh these federal workers are out of a job but now it's going to be affecting your life things are going to be inconvenient for you transportation okay certain other things that you might not even realize are government funded or government related they stop working you know and now it may, it's making life more difficult for you okay Mind you, we're in the winter. All right. So we in that time, man. The Lord did say. Okay, let me pull that, that scripture up real quick. Okay, the Heavenly Father did. Uh, name of his son. All right. The Yahweh Shai, he did say. Um, he said this right here. All right. This is uh, Matthew 24, verse 20. Ooh. Matter of fact, so um, I start at verse uh, eighteen because going into the uh, the abomination of desolation, when the Lord told him, man, when you see these things, man, you just dip. All right, so it says, neither let him which is in the field turn back to take his clothes. So just just straight up, you know what I mean, just book it. All right, which is just slang for you know what I mean, escaping or fleeing. So verse nineteen says, "And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days." See, because of course, you know the Lord was talking was talking to the uh, was talking about back then. But there's a lot of scriptures that are twofold, which uh, are, are also talking about in 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 the um, in the time we're living in right now. Okay, understanding that the Lord was a prophet, so of course he prophesied. So it says, "And woe meaning destruction unto them that are with child." And to them that give suck in those days. Give suck meaning you breastfeed. Okay? Because guess what, man? It's, it's going to get so bad out here, man. Okay? That women are going to be a liability. The kids, if the Lord's not with you, they're going to be a liability. Babies especially. Okay? Picture the scenario where you're being chased. You know, you find somewhere to hide. But you're with a baby. You know? You're quiet. You know what I mean? You're scared, but you're, 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 you're hidden. And all of a sudden, the baby just starts crying. Now you get found, and now you get murked. You get killed. You see? Because now you have to feed the baby. You have to change the baby's diapers. You have to... See, even in the regular in the regular society that when all hell hasn't broken loose yet, taking care of a baby is, is alone is, is, a, is, a, is a, a lot of work. So how much more for doing that while all hell is breaking loose around you? That's why the Lord said, woe unto them that are with child, man. Because it's going to be real, real bad. You know, a lot of guys, you know, you, you get all, all, all overly excited. Oh, Isaiah 4 and 1, I want, I want 10,000 women. But man, you're trying to, it's going to get so bad out here. You you, you really want to be running around with 10,000 women? You know, all, all complaining to you, oh, I'm hungry and this and that. And, uh, hey, man. <laughs> so it says, but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter. Neither on the Sabbath day. All right, the Lord said, "Pray that your flight be not in the winter, because when they when when all hell starts breaking loose, man, it's not gonna be. Oh, let me just lock myself in my house, man. People are breaking into houses. Okay, they're looking for either people to kill, rape, eat, steal, all that stuff. Okay, they come in mobs. All right, and they 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 come into they come to do damage." Okay, so if it's in the winter time, man, and you know in the winter time people just want to jet, you know, they want to go, they go from one building to another, or a building to a car, or a building to a train. Nobody wants to be outside. 
all right it's from point a to point b you're trying to get there as quick as possible because you're not trying to be caught outside in the cold now how much more for when you don't know what point b uh when you don't know where point b is you know you're running you run out your house you know and it's cold outside but you don't know where you're going you know all hell is breaking loose around you you don't know what to do it's going to be much worse because it's cold you're hungry you don't have a place to go you know here it is people are missing their 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 paychecks they're not getting paid but they still have to pay bills okay so what do you what do you think that's going to do all right now people get evicted people get uh, become homeless all right and it's cold outside hey it's going to be it's going to be very 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 bad out here man and trump trump is that perfect guy to do it you know so low one we might not even get to the 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 uh, 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 the next election, um, um, and I say that being things might not be in a normal case for us to even have an election, man. Okay. Uh, verse twenty one. For then shall be great tribulation, meaning trouble. All right, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor shall ever, nor sh ever shall be. See, because he's talking about uh, in the time where. We're approaching right now the time of Jacob's trouble. Okay, a precept for this is uh, Jeremiah chapter thirty verse seven, Daniel chapter twelve verse one. Okay, so back to the article. All right, because all these things are all are different parts. Okay, leading up to that end game. All right, and with all this desperation, they can that that's that. See right now. You, you even bring up the chip, you know what I mean, telling people, hey, this was going to be happening. They're going to put chips in your hand and, and you're going to be buying and selling with that. They, oh, hell, I'm not taking no chip. But guess what? When you're out there in the freezing cold and you don't have a place to stay, you, you're hungry. You're when they present that chip then and they tell you they can make the pain go away by you just taking a chip, that's when you're going to get tempted. Right now, people are not tempted. But let, let, let all hell break loose. Let the economy collapse. Let it be total anarchy out here and see how, how, how quick they're going to be to run to that chip because the temptation is going to be do you do you endure the hell that's going on okay or do you take the quote unquote easy way out by getting that chip so it says air traffic controllers have joined several other groups of federal employees suing the trump administration over missed pay for having to work through the ongoing government shutdown some 13,000 fbi agents are also affected the national air traffic controllers association or NATCA, filed a lawsuit on Friday accusing the White House of depriving their members of their hard-earned compensation without the requ uh, requisite due process. Failure to pay workers who are required to show up despite the shutdown continues to have a devastating effect on those devoted uh, federal employees' lives, the NATCA lawsuit says. Um, it says... Nat Natka's lawsuit is the third is the third this week filed by labor unions representing federal employees, the National Treasury Employees Union, and the American Federation of Government Employees have also sued over the longest shutdown in history. Now there was a video, if I can find it, there was a video. Okay, I had it on my page. I re-uploaded it. All right, and it was titled "How It Will Go Down." Okay. And within the video, you can see uh, it, 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 it describes to you. Okay, uh, it gives you a scenario basically of what would happen in an economic collapse, you know, or or in a, in a state of 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 uh, or in that kind of state, basically, you know. There it is, this one. I'm not gonna play it, you know, but just just to show you, this is what the video is. If if you know, what I mean, you're interested in watching it, man, and it shows you how. Basically, this fam there was a family that they were rich, you know. They were rich. They were good. They were well off, you know. But due to uh, 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 the tribulation, they ended up having to go broke because they were selling all of their belongings, canceling all their membership. They couldn't keep up with the bills, okay. And what better way to do it than this? Because a lot of these federal jobs, man, they pay good. But now they're not paying at all. So you go from having that nice car, you know, that nice house, Paying that mortgage to now not missing payments, not being able to maintain the, the things you have to, so you have to sell it, okay, to the point where it just gets more and more and more intense and worse for you, okay. And this video right here gives you a, a, a um, an amazing um, 
a visual in your head, okay, of, 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 of a scenario like that. Okay, so it says um, the National Tr uh, Treasury Employees Union and the American Federation of Government Employees have also sued over the longest shutdown in U.S. history. All right, and Lord willing, it keeps on going, man, because a lot of these people in America are spoiled and disciplined, and they don't they don't know the judgment of the Lord. Okay, but the Lord is gonna show them real soon, man. A lot of, a lot of dudes they, they call themselves atheists and all this extra. Lord is gonna make you a believer. All right, <laughs> but it, it that's that it takes more than that, man. Just saying, oh, I believe in the in the Lord. No, 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 it's 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 more than that. Okay, but at the end of this thing, everybody's going to know that there's a living power. All right, the power of Israel, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, it says in a separate case before the federal court in Washington, D.C., the NET, NET or NTEU is arguing that the uh, 1982 Anti-Deficiency Act, under which the government shutdown uh, shutdowns happen when Congress fails to appropriate funding for federal programs is itself unconstitutional because it allows the executive branch to compel employees to work in emergencies. All right. Um, it says some 800,000 federal workers have been affected by the ongoing par uh, partial shutdown. According to the union, the unions, more than half of that number have been required to show up for work anyway because their jobs were declared essential. But what happens when they don't care about the, requirements, the requirements anymore? Okay, let's get a quick precept on that because you, here it is. This they they're gonna start catching hell, okay? And you're gonna tell them, oh, you're required to do this. They're not gonna hear that, man. They're gonna be like, you know what? Fire me, whatever you wanna do. I don't care. All right, and they're gonna start taking matters into their own hands. Second Ezra fifteen, and uh, mm, Let me see if I can find it. Ah, there it is. 15 and 16. It says, For there shall be sedition among men, meaning uprisings, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, meaning Trump, these mayors, the police, they're not going to care. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. They're going to do what they want to do. Okay. See, so soon they're just going to stop caring about this. Oh, I'm required to come in an emergency. Well, you're required to pay me for my services. You're not doing that, so I don't care. I'm not coming to work anymore. You know, figure it out. You know, so it says um, uh, nearly uh, 13,000 FBI employees are among those affected. The FBI Agents Association said in an open letter, in an open letter sent on Thursday, the association urged Congress to fund the Department of Justice and thereby the uh, Bureau, Bureau because uh, financial se uh, security is a matter of national security. If FBI agents miss paying their bills, the association warned their security clearances could be delayed or revoked. Lack of funding would jeopardize FBI's very important mission and prevent it from attacking or attracting top talent already tempted by the private sector. The FBIAA wrote. Um, it says here, TSA agents are also working without pay and increasingly calling in sick to work, uh, to work other jobs and make ends meet, according to reports. Facing a shortage of TSA staff, the Miami International Airport announced on Friday it will be closing one of its checkpoints over the weekend, effectively stopping all departures from Terminal G. See. Now, now you see how it's starting to affect people. Now, when this starts happening on mass, mass, mass scale, okay, you know, <laughs> man, people are gonna see, man. You, the the squeeze is coming, all right, and that fire is gonna be put on a lot of you's asses, okay. And if you're not, if you're not of the Lord's elect, because even though we we doing what we're supposed to be doing, of course we're living here, we're also gonna be uh, uh, uncomfortable, okay. But the Lord is gonna is gonna comfort us even in that in that time. He's going to bless us. He's going to keep us good. We're going to be all right. Okay? The scriptures say we're going to rejoice. All right? For joy of heart. While, while people are crying and, and howling for sorrow of heart. It says President Donald Trump continues to insist on building the barrier while Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer 
and Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi have repeatedly said they will not approve any money for it. Ever. Okay? And this is forcing Trump's hand to, to start using his, his uh, presidential powers or however you'd like to call it. This is one possible way out of the stalemate for Trump is to declare a national emergency and use the Pentagon slush to fund the uh, uh, slush fund to build a wall, though he has been hesitant to invoke those powers so far. There is increasing speculation he might do so by next week, as Wall Street estimates the shutdown may reduce the projected GDP by a quarter of a percentage point. Uh, oh, look at that. It says, uh, at White House sources say in, uh, internal data shows impact of shutdown will hit economy shortly as officials grow increasingly worried about economic impact of impasse. All right. It says, uh, at real at Donald Trump, likely to end impasse with government emergency as soon as next week. All right. So we're going to see what happens. It says the shutdown began on December 22nd after the Senate Democrats refused to vote on the appropriations bill giving $5.6 billion towards the construction of a barrier on the U.S.-Mexico border that was approved by the Republican majority House of Representatives. Democrats took over the House on January 3rd and proceeded to propose a series of funding bills, none of which contained any money for the wall. The impasse has now entered a day 21 trying the record for the longest-running shutdown in the U.S. history set under the Clinton administration in 1995, and apparently guaranteed to surpass it, with the Senate now in uh, recess until Monday. See? Now, this just sounds like a whole setup, because these elites, all right, they're the ones really behind it, you know? How uh, right after they they, uh, they um, uh, approved the... Uh, the um, the uh, the construction of the of the barrier. You had the Democrats come take over, and now there's a whole stop between these men. It's all set up, okay, for that one goal because they want that one world order, that new world order. All right, which means having everybody microchipped. But in order to get that, they first have to put people through hell, okay, to to make people uh 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 um uh, 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 uh ready to listen. You know, if somebody's comfortable and you pitch an idea to them, they might not like it. They might be able to say, I don't like it. I don't care. But when you put them in an uncomfortable situation where it seems as though their only option or their only way out is to do what you're telling them, that's when you, you can talk to them. And that's what these elites are planning to do. Okay. So, you know, of course, with all this hell, there's, there's a balance to it, which is the deliverance and the salvation of the Lord's elect. Okay. And if the Lord is with you, man, you're going to be good. That's why we do these videos, but we don't. We're not scared. We don't worry about all this, man. Okay, because we know even through all this hell, like King David said, "Do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? I shall fear no evil, because the Lord is gonna be with us, man." Okay, so you know that was another update. All right, as far as the damage this government shutdown is doing, you know, it's also affecting these prisons. Okay, because very soon, man, don't be surprised. You, you start hearing stuff about a uh, 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 prison, either prison guards slacking on the job, prisoners being let loose, you know, things, things are going to be happening, man, all right, so, <laughs> you know, we're just going to wait and see what the Lord has in store for this place, man, but Lowen, this is edifying to the elect, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Lecha Kodash, until next time, Shalom.